hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna share with you a, a garden tour of my small backyard garden so let's get started so let's go here first so i have some big plants over here this one particularly this is i love this plant this is a taro plant it has really big metal leaves leaves are very edible as well as the stem and the root as well I'll give you a closer look actually this is the first time that i grow some taro but these are really very nice um crops similar to sweet potatoes and why they make um poi pudding out of taro is very very well known for this uh, root crop so okay. here i love also some indoor plants as well and over here some philodendrons i love this and on the top here i have a divider here that is just designed for my indoor plants i have some succulents and different kinds of indoor plants so i put them in shade because like photos pothos say so here it is this one is quite a big and here is my basil plant this one is really very productive plant and i move my pepper i put it nearby here so i still have some fruit even though i already harvested it many times if you watch my video of sweet potatoes how to grow sweet potatoes and harvesting i still have the seeds so i use them temporarily to to put my succulent here actually it is still giving me lots of um, slips before and then i ha harvested it inside here and i have more basil there and some sage this one i put it a little bit in shade now let's move on here so this divider really i'm using it as a trellis so i have a beautiful loofah guard here this is the first time ever i grow some loofah guard and i'm so happy that it's already um sprawling and climbing because the one that i used to plant over here is the bottle guard and unfortunately guys it already died so I planted a new one immediately so it is really helpful it's great to overcome that if you plant immediately and over here I have some kale I believe this is a dwarf what's this um, dwarf sorry a dwarf Siberian kale if I'm not mistaken and then over here I have some more taro I try to propagate some more taro and then in my milk I boxes I have some there some herbs and over here I have this uh, lemongrass and to this area I made a new trellis and I'm so happy guys I can't wait to share this with you I have here a bamboo and training wire and then actually i planted new bottle guard plants I have some here you could see this area I have some corn as well and this is my first time growing okra this is an okra plant and then i experimented to um, plant some jikama or hikama here and another bottle guard here over here is the beets some beets and jicama to provide some nitrogen as well and then more bottle guard and this is the first time i um, planted lemongrass in the ground and it's doing pretty well right now here's some marigold it's really beaten up by the summer but it's okay i have here some sunchokes and i germinate here in the same pot some 
I'm battle guard as well, but I'll transfer it later on. It's the first time I ever planted some sun chokes. And then let's go back here in this area. I made a new bed. This is a bed of a kale and then some Swiss chard and beans on the side made, made the little trellis and then chikama so here it is have some kale different kinds of kales and some mud, spring mustard and beans over there I can't wait to harvest them and over here I this is where I planted the squash before and I changed it to bottle guard in guards family I have still here one more of the loofah guard as well and then up here I'm so happy because they start already to flower see I'm so happy they start to flower again and over here guys have some little pots here have some little pots this one is the bean string beans my favorite and then some kale more kale swiss chard and i have banana here this is a cavendish banana this is my ever first time also to grow bananas and in this pot in this area is a little mature sun chokes here and planted beans to give some nitrogen as well and this is my um, florida broadleaf mustard i'm going to plant them soon in their permanent area or soil and then here i have some moringa actually i planted like um four moringa in the pots and it's kind of i think challenge for moringa to be in the pot but these are the dwarf variety so here you go they're doing pretty well but i think i'm gonna show you the one that it's um that i plant in the ground have some more kale here and I'm just really um, preparing some little pods to plant for fall so this is the Poringa that I planted in ground I have two of them in there but I must say this Moringa that I planted in the ground is the one that's doing pretty well you can see how green the leaves are and it looks really happy but here in this bed I'm gonna show you is my new um, bed garden bed and i'm so happy how to turn out because i call this as a freedom bed i planted different kinds of stuff i have some um, bell pepper tomatoes sage and jicama beans onions basil okra corn and then i have some pigeon peas i hope they grow so fast before the frost season so here it is you know sometimes when you're planting just um, give yourself time or uh, let yourself um, plant with freedom and yes look at this one this is one of my favorite basil and look at this leaves this is my favorite one of my favorite basil this is an italian basil a large basil so what i'm gonna do is, is this one starts already to flower so i'm gonna pinch them because sometimes when they start to flower their flavor really um changes well so here i really love this basil really very very nice and let's move on over here i have here the tomato that i planted in the pot it's growing and now it starts to flower and then i have some loofah guard here i made also the trellis already start to um, climb also and for flower for 
Polinera, some Vinca and Black Eyes Susan. You're really pretty. Very good. And then I still have some string beans over here, guys. So what I do with string beans, because the last time they already gave me nice harvest. So what do you do if, for example, you have string beans and then you want to grow it back again. All you have to do is just cut it, the vine, the main vine, and it will grow back again. So that's what I did. And then it sprouts back. So I have here some bottle guard as well. I have a bottle guard, guys. It's really nice, but later I'm going to pull it because... You know, sometimes when you plant and then you forgot to put a label on it and you didn't know that there's already a plant in it. So I have decometer and bottle guard at the same place. So here, another bottle guard. I plant with string beans. This is where I planted the bitter guard before. And I pull it already because um, sometimes when nobody is eating oh <laughs> also when you get sick of vegetables already of eating feel free to you know change what you are growing and on this side if you watch my video on harvesting the sweet potatoes you will have a clue and i just decided guys not to pull my sweet potatoes i felt pity or maybe I'm so attached with my plants so I'm going to let it grow until fall and harvest it again so here still doing pretty well my sweet potatoes and still have a very nice leaves but as you can see the leaves are already starting to have like um, pale yellow pale yellowish in color so here have some marigold here but as you can see they start already to go seeds some eggplant and this area I have some guards here yes you will notice that I have lots of guards because I skip planting squash for a while maybe next season I'll try again so I have some more seedlings here and then in this spot, I have some of my snacking peppers. I harvested it already the last time and it's still, still producing some more fruits. And over here, I plant some more marigold, this in the corner part. And this is one of my favorite flower guys. I hope you can see it. This is, I think, Zinnia. I don't plant so much um, flowers I mean, you really don't need to plant so much flowers in your small garden for pollination just enough for them to I think marigold is one of my favorite for pollination and over here is this is a little messy here guys I have some beans and then corn I have some little radish already start to germinate and then potatoes I have one plant of potato actually I was gonna trim it but it's really and then I have experimented to plant at least one kabocha again it just to experiment here and then let's see if it grows and we really had a hard time accepting divine warriors the last time and here in my other garden this is a little messy guys because i planted different kinds of stuff but here i have kale sweet potatoes some taros to germinate i'm so happy these are in the beet also and then this is my Malabar spinach. If you watch my Malabar spinach video or growing Malabar spinach, you will see that before it was very, very small. It was very, very small and now it really grows so much. So this soft or trellis was shared by different vegetables. So I have some different vegetables here. I have like beans. 
um, bottle guards and then unfortunately sayote i tried planting sayote or growing sayote but i'm still waiting for it to um flower until now i planted it in spring until now i didn't have flower um so let's see maybe because i planted it in shade or because my pot is very small so here is my curved trellis they're doing pretty well i'm so happy with the bottle guard because i just cut up some uh, vines the last time and i can see that it will going to give me some um fruit soon as you can see i can't wait so my bottle guard really is doing pretty well this is the shaded area and i have here as well you can see and here is my tomato um sorry sweet potatoes i planted in a trash bag so this is what happened when you let your sweet potatoes sprawl around seeing that they could really take over because but i'm gonna do is that i can really just trim it and dispose some of the stems and it will they will still gonna grow back again so so far i'm happy with my little trellis it is really a little bit um and that's so very strong compared to the metal divider because this one i just um use pvc out of it and so my metal garden and here oh look at this she will going to give me some fruit soon where is it oh here this one is a small bottle guard so I'm pretty happy it starts to um, fruit and I can't wait tangling around in this trellis again and over here guys this is my uh, ginger basil and onions you know what sometimes I will just experiment and I think they like each other the company of each other so i just put them all together here here it is so there you go guys thank you for joining me in my um, a garden tour today in my small backyard garden i hope you enjoyed the video and so far i have two vacant um a plot here i'm going to I'll plant more later and here in the very corner of my garden this is where I um, put my my bin my worm bin and also my uh, compost so it is really nice out of sight and in the shaded area so there you go guys thank you for watching and I hope that um, you get some little idea what my garden look like or what I'm planting in August. So have a great day and see you again next time. Bye.